Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you a really cool plugin to retouch your portrait super fast. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramidi. I'm a French photographer from the beautiful city of Paris, France, living in Los Angeles, California. I make one to two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got over 400 tutorials there. And also make sure you click on the little bell so you really get a notification every time a new free tutorial comes out. All right, this week I'm going to talk to you about a plugin I've been testing for weeks, which I think is amazing uh, for retouching portraits super fast. And you will see it is just amazing. Here it is. All right, guys, I am very excited to talk to you about this plugin. I, um, first, I want to do a little disclaimer, is that if you do buy the plugin that I'm about to show you, with the discount code that I'm going to give you, you are going to, to get 10%, but I am going to get a commission. I will actually make money on it. However, uh, just so you know, because I have a pretty large YouTube channel, almost 400,000 subscribers, I get a lot of proposal uh, you know, to sell this or propose that, you know, anything. Um, I only promote what I truly use. And what I'm about to show you is something I am going to use from now on as a photographer. I've been working with it for a month and I am blown away. Um, I am blown away because it's a very uh, good way to retouch photos very fast and get a nice result with very little technical know-how. I, I have trained in the past to do like very high-end retouching, uh, but it takes a lot of time. And sometimes when you just take photos of friends or weddings or events or whatever, you don't you know necessarily want to spend two hours on each face. So this is a good way around. Let me show you on this photo. So I'm in Lightroom and I'm going to right click and go to edit. Perfectly clear, complete. That's what I have. They have three products. What I'm, I'm using is their complete product which I advise you to get at least the uh, skin and eyes product. Uh, I'll show you that later on, but first let me show you how it looks. So it's going to open up, and I'm really amazed how fast it works. So here we are in perfectly complete, and um, let me show you first. They have what they call different presets, and I really like that. So, for example, if I go over to Beautiful Plus, okay, that's one of the presets I really like. It's kind of strong. Uh, but I like what it does. If you want to see the before after, you just click on the face and let go. So that's the before, that's the after. I mean, it's a friend of mine. She's already a pretty girl. But look at this. You know, her uh, skin, um, her bones are a little thinner. You know, her skin is much better. Her eyes are brighter. Her teeth are whiter. And with one click. And I was really amazed. So you can try different things. You can go to beautiful, which will not do the face or you know, whatever you know whatever you want. Usually the way I like to do it is I like to go to Beautiful Plus. That's just me because I really like how it looks. It's sometimes it's a little bit too much, but the good thing is you can click here to adjust and you got uh, five categories, which is tone, color, clarity, portrait, and eye. The, t the two sections we're really looking at is really portrait and eye. So on portrait, you see uh, the first one is perfectly smooth. If I turn this off, uh, look at her skin. Uh, you see here, it's kind of, you won't see much of it, but check it out. Look at her face. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, and I'm going to turn on perfectly smooth. Are you ready? Okay, and I'm going to turn it off. You see how subtle it is? It's very subtle, but it does something, so I'm keeping it. So if you think it's overdone, you can just lower, you know, lower the value. Okay, skin tone. Now, skin tone is important because uh, this is without skin tone. And this is with skin tone. Okay. Without. With. I can hardly see the difference on this one. Um, okay, that's kind of weird. Maybe there's a bug or something. Because you see, if I do the before and after, the global before and after, I can lower the skin tone value. And the, perf the, the, the two first one is really going to be about the skin. So if you push it the all the way there, you're going to get that sort of porcelain effect. Look at this again. Okay, it's going to be like, look at this. P complete uh, smooth. That's way too much. But if you go here and here, you get a much better result. And I can do that in Photoshop, but it takes me a lot of time. And I'm a lazy guy when it comes to portrait. I'm not a fashion photographer, you know, and uh, I think fashion photographer will probably not use this plugin. Or they might, you know, because uh, I don't know what algorithm they're using, but their skin, 
the, the way they handle the skin is, is I really like it. So I'm going to leave the values about in the middle. I think it's natural. Look, check this out before, after. Okay, teeth whitening. Let's see here if it does something. If we turn that off, there's a bit of a gray, and we turn it on. Okay, yeah, you don't see much. Let's put it all the way here. Okay, now they are really shiny. So same thing, you know, you gotta you gotta play around with the value. But that preset, that preset, beautiful plus, I think it's pretty spot on. I really like what it does. Anyway, let's continue. Blemish removal. Let's see what it does here. Blemish removal. Oh yes. Uh, yeah, look at that. Look around here. She's got a, a few blemishes. You know, little small ones that would take forever to take care of in Photoshop. And here, boom, it's out. You see, but it left still that spot, which is really her, her personality, you know. She's got some natural spot. I think it's, I couldn't believe the quality of the retouching in one click. Shine removal, I'm not sure there is, is, is going to be doing much. Let's see, well, the best way to see the beef, I'm going to put it all the way. And all the way here. So you can just see what it does. Yeah, okay. Interesting. So this one, it considered that this is shiny and here. It's going to take this out. So, okay, shine removal, I don't like in this case, for example. I'm not going to use it. Okay, light diffusion. What does light diffusion do? So, you just press light diffusion, makes the whole face glow a bit more. Okay, and if I turn it off. Okay, so light diffusion, yeah, makes the whole photo glow a little bit more. Well, this one, okay, I'm not going to use it. But, like, again, b you click on it before, look at that. After, before, after. Amazing. So, th now what's going on with the face? Is um, is here face contouring? Okay, let me show you. I'm gonna put it in the minimum. Look at her face. It's basically gonna make the entire face thinner. So if I go all the way, it's gonna make her face really thin, which you don't want. You know, like she's losing too many years. But somewhere around here, I think it's kind of cool. And one thing I was really surprised because I shot that friend with an 85 1.4, and then I shot her with a 300 millimeter, and her face, I'm go actually gonna show you. Uh, you will see that the 85 1.4, although it's a good portrait lens, when you do a full portrait, it does make this face a little bit, a little bit big compared to the compression of a 300 millimeter. So what I mean by that is, Whenever you take a portrait of somebody, unless you're shooting at 200 and over, you can make that face actually, there's an optical illusion where the face is going to be a little bigger. So you're not cheating by doing a little face contouring and making that face a little smaller because the lens is making it bigger. Especially if you're shooting like a 50 millimeter or something, that would be crazy. Anyways, and then we got the eyes. So auto red eyes, there's no red eyes here. Eye, eyes enhancement. I mean, just check, like, check it out. Before, look at her eyes. So now if I click here, if I put it lower, I think that's the best way to see it. Uh, I put a low value and then I put a very high value. Uh, well, it's, it's gonna be crazy. So something like that is, I think is interesting. Check it out before, after, just the eyes pop a little more. Eyes enlarge. So that's, I guess, gonna make the eyes bigger. Let's see here. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, way bigger. And here, smaller. So you want to do something natural, of course, you know? Anyways, I'm just taking the time so you can do something, you know, uh, you can you can do something tailor-made for your photo. Uh, clarity, you know, and uh, clarity, they have apparently their own method of clarity, colors, vibrancy. I have not been using this section at all. I've only been playing with this section. I hear that um, the way they handle the exposure is very um, new and pretty amazing. I haven't really seen a huge difference compared to what I do in Lightroom. I'm really using this software for portrait and eyes, which I think is awesome. And you will see why. So, okay, now I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna click on save and we're gonna do another one. Save, it's gonna go back into Lightroom. Lightroom and check it out. So that was the before, that's the after. Isn't that an amazing retouching? I, I, I think it's very natural, it's very good. And I use the beautiful plus, which has a tendency to make the skin a little too much. Okay, I want to show you, and what I was talking to you about, look at her face. This is shot with an 85 millimeter. This is shot with uh, a 300 millimeter. I don't know if you can tell, but her face is a little more round on the 85 than on the 300. Anyway, just saying that, um, 
because if you should portrait with anything below 200, that is my observation, maybe 135 is fine, uh, especially when you do close up like this, you will add pounds to your face, to the, to the person you're shooting. So it is good to use this face contouring because you're just putting reality back. Okay, I'll show you another example. This is my stepmom, Mireille. Bonjour, Mireille. We're going to go into edit and uh, perfectly complete. So she's an elder lady, a very nice lady from Switzerland. And, you know, I just want to make her look the best, but, you know, I don't want to make her like look like a 20 years old. So I'm going to go back to uh, uh, perfectly clear. And I'm sorry, by the way, guys, I have a little cold that's finishing. So if I speak a bit with the nose, I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's go to presets. Now, preset, they have a whole bunch of presets. So if you click here, you see it says perf perfectly clear complete, uh, perfect exposure. That's not the option I'm going to be using on her. I'm going to go to not perfect eyes, perfect skin. Skin one and um, perfect skin two. So, uh, you know, we can try different set of things. Middle age, for example. Okay, and if you want to see the before, just click before, after. All right. Rug skin, before, after. Uh huh. The works. You can try different things. What I usually. Uh, the works is pretty nice. Look at this. Before, after. She still looks like an elderly woman, but she looks much better. Um. Anyways, you get the idea. High fashion. I'm not saying high fashion. That, that would not be really proper, I don't think. Oh, actually, not that bad. High fashion. Okay, let's go to uh, poor shafting. You know, we can try different things. Wow. Anyways, you get the idea. So on this one, I think I, I'm in love with the uh, perfect, clear, complete, uh, uh, beautiful plus. Or beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful plus. I still think it's her. Oh, let me see. So look at this, before, after, before, after. Like there's a little stain she has gone, her, her wrinkles are still there, but it just looks, look like how dark it was here around the eyes and now it's much nicer. Yeah, and this is a JPEG, by the way. This is a very old JPEG. It's not a raw file. It's a very noisy JPEG, uh, but it just looks really cool. I think we could do better on the T. So you can always start with a preset that you like and just go to adjust and, you know, uh, let's see if I can do something better with the T's. Teeth whitening, if I, I can do better. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's actually not bad. Um, let's see here. Uh, what else we could do? Uh, umbrella. Now, this is this one is cool. I didn't show you the one. This is on the eye section, the last setting called umbrella. Look what it does. It adds if there was an umbrella shot in the eyes. Check it out. Look at her eyes before. Okay, nothing in the eyes. And after. Okay, it does... Uh, on her, it's it's a little strong, and umbrella I don't think is the right shape, so you can choose. I'm going to use like a beauty dish, for example. Uh, let's see, beauty dish could be interesting, yeah. Little beauty dish, or a little soft box. So you just put a reflection. Now, soft box doesn't look real. Outdoor, let's see what outdoor is going to give me. Uh, outdoor is more natural. I can even boost it. Just makes her eyes shine a little bit more. Well, not, not that much. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, the before. And the after. Now, let's say that you're coming back and you just shot an event with, you know, 100 photos, and in each photo there is four people. Uh, you can actually batch this, and it takes a few minutes. So I'm going to show you. So, this is, for example, a photo of some friends and family I took uh, here. That's me from a few years ago. That's my nephew, and this other two photos. So I'm going to select this one, this one, this one, this photo. This photo, this photo. You know, let's say you're, you you just shot a wedding and you just want everybody to look good. I'm going to right click and instead of using edit this time, I'm going to go to export. Export, mesdames et messieurs. Export. And I'm going to click export. And there you go here in this option and you got the perfect clear complete here. Perfectly clear complete. Okay. Now, the first option is um, use system preset. I'm going to use, so you have all the presets. I'm going to use beautiful the Plus, that's the one I showed you already. Okay, I'm going to click here to hide perfectly clear window because I don't want the window to appear for every photo. Uh, I'm going to put this into uh, I'm going to put this into the desktop. I think. Let's see here, desktop. Okay, and I'm going to call it portrait. So it's going to put all the resulting photos. I'm going to add it to the catalog in set time, so I don't have to re-import it to. Um, you know, to the to to the original photo, and um, voila. What else? Okay, so I'm for the demonstration. I'm going to use JPEG. 
uh, quality like 80. I'm not going to resize. I'm going to leave a big size and voila. And I'm just going to click on export. And now it's going to do its magic. Processing was perfectly clear, as you can see here. It's probably going to take two minutes. And then I'll show you the result. Done. What I'm going to show you a little trick here. So I'm going to go to my um, desktop and portrait. So all the photos are here. And uh, I'm going to select all these photos and I'm going to drag and drop them in the collection that I was using because I was using a collection for this episode, which is here. Okay, so now they are all next to each other and we can see the before and after. So that's the before and that's the after. Before, after. Beautiful Plus is really strong, but I'm sure that that's my stepsister. She would love it. Stepbrother, before, after, before, after. Me, before, after. Wow, much better. I still would do some more work on my face. My face always needs more work. Okay, my nephew, before, after. Look at that. And I didn't do anything. You know, you could run a thousand photos this way, you know, and just, and you can, you know, you can make a different preset, make it uh, le less strong. Okay, let's go on my friend Louise. So before, after, check this out. Before, after, before, after. Okay, a little strong on this one. Before, Oh, that's the one I, we did earlier. So you get the idea. It's really cool. Now, if you're interested, and honestly, I think it's the one plugin, if you do any portrait ever, you should have, because it's, you know, I just love how fast it is. I've seen somebody running like 40 photos in less than four minutes, you know. So, I mean, imagine, you know, doing like a wedding and you got all these photos and everybody looks kind of cool on it or just a little bit better, you know, and it only took you 10 minutes. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, all right, so if you want to get the products, you can use the link that's either on my website, that's below the video that you're watching here to get it, uh, so you can get a 10% off. So the link will bring you to this page, uh, perfectly clear, and then you can just buy it. So um, there is a little try for free, perfectly clear, buy now. And so you got different package. Uh, I advise you to take it the full package because they have an amazing, that I haven't shown you a technology on exposure at 149. You, but if you only want the eyes or uh, the skin, you can. Once you've taken your option, you just click on order now, but I'll show you a little trick. Put your name and information, so I'm gonna do it really fast. And here, when you go here to uh, make change coupon, on coupon you can just put in photo search 10. You see photo search 10 and click on update coupon and as soon as you do that you see instead of 149 it goes to 134 it's going to give you 10 percent off i'll get a small commission everybody wins i really do hope you enjoy it as much as i did it was really I, I i met them in new york for photo expo and i was like yeah okay one more plugin and i was blown away and i've been using it ever since so check it out guys